confession time, I've jammed a device in one of my holes for every day for the past two years, and I've liked it. The hole in question is of course my ear, and the device in question are the ROG Cetra True Wireless, which I've used daily for the past two years, mostly to listen to podcasts, both while running and while driving in the car. I also regularly use them to watch videos and occasionally to make a phone call or two. But it's time to ditch my daily driver. For the new version of my daily driver, the ROG Cetra True Wireless Speed Nova. But does new necessarily mean better or is this just a money grab with some fancy name attached to it but nothing has really changed? Actually, a lot has changed. Unlike some other companies that just slap on a new number to a product and expect you to buy it, the Supernova actually has a lot of improvements. On the surface though, it does look darn similar to the old one. So this is being recorded via the new ROG Cetra earphones, that's why they are not in the case. But just very quickly on the differences between the two, this is the old one, this is the new one. Number one, case-wise, the lip, the indicator light lip is much longer in the old one compared to the lip on the new one. Both are charged by USB-C in the back. Both are clam shape, although it's hard to see on camera, but this is black matte. This is more of a gray beveled kind of finish to the new one. Both have the ROG logo in black. The old one has a smoother clamshell, especially noticeable here at the curve here. This one is a more angular curve. The old one also doesn't have RGB here. Whereas the new one does. Opening the old one, there is a little resistance when you open it, but just at the start. So once you get past the initial resistance, it's a little jarring because you're applying a little pressure. And once you don't need that pressure anymore, suddenly your force becomes too strong. For the new case, the resistance is more even. So, and also notice when you're closing it, it kind of like pops back into place. So there is a little bit of spring action there, which the old one doesn't have. The old one just, when you flick it down, its tendency is to go down. Here, actually, the tendency of the cover is to want to go up. There is a little logo here, which is not seen on the old one, and it's the, for those who dare, ROG motto. So because of that resistance to going down, it does feel a bit more premium because you have to put just a little bit more effort into opening it and then it springs open once you get past that resistance. One key feature that the Speed Nova shares with its older version is its excellent sound quality. When I reviewed the Cetra True Wireless, I remarked then that the audio was very good both for voice intensive recordings such as podcasts it really feels like the speaker is right there in your head not even beside you talking to you but literally inside your head that's why it was a favorite of mine to use for podcasts the speed nova also has that very good audio quality both for voices and for louder situations, whether you're listening to a video or playing games. You can hear the different things going on in an audio recording, whether it's gunfire mixed with running, the clink of glasses mixed with voices, every strain of the audio is audible. Now with the older versions, I have noticed, I'm not sure if it's just because they're a bit older, so they've become worn down a little bit. I've begun to notice some peaking while watching videos, particularly while watching louder scenes in shows like Invincible. May konting peaking, parang bumibigay na yung audio na hindi ko napansin dati. But when I went back to those same videos with the Speed Novas, no problem at all audio was crystal clear and very robust. You, know, you really feel like it's not just happening externally, but kind of internally in your head. It's like the audio gets piped right into your brain. Noise cancellation, also pretty good. I tried it out in a coffee shop and the usual noises of a coffee shop, like the loud press of coffee, or I'm not a coffee person, I don't know what they do with the coffee but it sounds like a medieval press there sometimes with the clank and the grind and the steam and the whoosh of the air of the coffee, all of those things. But the noise cancellation effectively canceled them out basically. Calls also were crisp, no problems. Although 
I was already very happy with the old version of the Cetras for noise cancellation and for calls, and that satisfaction carries over to the Speed Nova. Now, really, the big feature what separates the old True Wireless from the True Wireless Speed Nova is the Speed Nova's ability to take two sources at the same time. You can connect to it using Bluetooth, and it also comes with an RF dongle. And the beauty of that is you can have your PC connected to the Cetras and also your phone. So for example, you could be playing a game on your desktop and then using your phone for Discord so you can talk with your teammates. Why would you want to do that? Because Discord is kind of notorious for crashing computers. There's nothing worse that you're already lined up with your squad mates. Alam mo na ano strategy ninyo, execution na lang, you're playing very well as a team. Tapos biglang magka-crash yung desktop mo, and it's not even the game's fault, it's Discord's fault. So having your comms on a separate device from the actual game can be a lifesaver. At least you're still in-game while you scramble to get your comms back up. Having two sources has a lot of practical, real-world applications. For example, you're using your phone to be in a boring meeting, you can still be gaming on another device while you're on the phone, and as long as you keep your voice down or your reactions to the game to yourself, you don't want to be like these students. Come on, Patch, get that 30. See you. Or at least the call muted so they can't hear your voice. You can game on a separate device and still listen into your calls through your phone. Being able to hear two sources at the same time sounds like a simple thing, but it's super useful. Now, when I reviewed the first version of the Cetra around two years ago, I was kind of remiss. May pagkukulang ako. Because these are supposed to be low latency earphones for gaming. And I loved my Cetras, but I didn't really use them for gaming. And I didn't test them with games. So the second time around, I'm hoping to make up for that failure. And I tested the Speed Novas with gaming. Now, to try out gaming, ASUS did send over this very nice retro Game Boy, which is actually filled with a ton of different games. From the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation, even Sega consoles. I will enjoy the Game Boy, but I will try the audio using my desktop. Specifically, a game that requires really close sync with audio and what's happening in-game because it's a very frenetic, fast-paced game. Kumbaga, kung may latency, kung may difference between what I'm seeing on screen versus from what I'm hearing, maapektohan yung game performance ko. And that game is Ghost Runner. If you haven't played it yet, very stylized, beautiful, excellent game. I don't even like platformers, to be honest. You know, the kind of thing where you have to have very quick reflexes and you have to memorize these patterns and there's a lot of quick thinking. So, Ghost Runner. It's kind of like Titanfall where you can run across walls but you don't have any guns, you just have a sword. So every enemy you encounter, you have to get in real close. And there's always basically a running sequence where you're jumping from wall to wall using slow motion, using your dash feature, using your sword deflect. So a lot of action is going on very quickly on screen. And if something were off with the audio, that would affect how I play the game. Now, I'm not the fastest gamer. But I really enjoyed Ghost Runner, even though I died a lot. Like, a lot. Siguro yung average death score per stage was like around 100. Grabe to. And because every enemy is lethal, you can't just write off, oh, this is like the most basic enemy, I can take him out easily. I can't remember how many times I died from the shot of one of those basic enemies. But yes, Ghost Runner is very fast. And I'm happy to report that the Speed Novas kept up with the pace of the game. No problems with latency, no problems being confused. Now, how come I'm hearing this on screen, but I'm already executing a jump or a roll or a slide or whatever? Ghost Runner is punishing. Audio and video have to be perfectly in sync. And I got that with the Speed Novas. What I did notice were the nice little audio cues in the game, whether it's the muffled voice of a tenant, because you can't really hear them when they're hiding inside their house or something, but they're either cheering you on or they're reporting you to the police or it's the crackle of a plasma weapon or a laser from one of the snipers. And dami mga little audio cues that you can really only experience with a good earphone or a good headset. I mean, you can have good speakers, but just the proximity of an earphone or a headset to your ear. And if it's quality, it will really bring out 
different audio that you haven't heard even from good speakers. So yes, I can say now that definitely the Speed Novas have no latency at all in fact from what I could tell. Now when we talk about earphones, of course the king of the hill, the one that first comes to mind are the Apple AirPods. And to be fair, Apple basically invented this niche of wireless earphones. In my past review, I did do a head-to-head -head of the AirPods and the Cetras by stealing the AirPods of my wife who is a very heavy Apple user. I told her you can't use your AirPods anymore and you have to use these Cetras. And even though she really likes Apple, she had no problems with the Cetra. She didn't miss the AirPods, so much so that when I finally gave back her AirPods, she would still look for the Cetras. And if you compare the AirPods to the Cetras, in particularly the Speed Nova, the quality is the same, but you're also getting a cheaper price. Currently, the Speed Nova goes for around 9,500 pesos locally, compared to around 11,000 pesos for the third gen AirPods. That's quite a hefty price increase for the Apple side, of course, what you expect from Apple. So with the Speed Novas, you're getting the same audio quality and a lot of other things as well. The ability to pipe in two sources, RGB, if that's your thing, good battery life, all of that, and they're even cheaper than the AirPods. Taken by itself, 9,500 pesos for earphones is a little pricey. There are cheaper earphones, but you're getting what you pay for. You're getting quality. Di naman sayang yung bayad mo. So if you're looking at that tier of earphones where you're looking at five figures for earphones, you might want to consider the Cetras, which have excellent quality, plus are below 10,000 pesos. You can use them for gaming, you can use them for calls. The best part is you can use them at the same time for both, both for gaming and for productivity at the same time. The two source feature, again, is super simple, but super useful. Personally, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fish out my old Cetras from the trash can and I'm going to continue to use those for running. But the Speed Novas I'm going to be using for gaming as well as for video consumption. So not tossing away the old ones, but if you're in the market for new earphones, you can definitely do a lot worse than the ROG Cetra True Wireless Speed Nova. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.